All right, guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted. This is, wow, that didn't sound very like enthusiastic. Didn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted. This is episode seven. Um, anyway, today we are making an all-American classic with a slight variation. We're going to make biscuits and, gra biscuits and gravy, but we are going to use chorizo and not sausage. Breakfast, sausage. We're still using sausage because chorizo is sausage. Um, we're gonna make some biscuits. I am not a big fan, at least me personally, of these massive, gigantic, I like my biscuits a little bit smaller. Um, maybe because that's, I know, right? Who likes small biscuits? Um, <laughs> yeah, at least that way, I, maybe I'm, it's because I can eat more and not feel as guilty rather than eating these massive biscuits and cardiac gravy. And I love chorizo more than I love breakfast sausage, so we're just gonna add that in. We're gonna get started by making biscuits. A couple of things. One, pastry cutter. If you don't have a pastry cutter, you can use forks to do it, or you can actually put it in a food processor and do it that way. I personally prefer a pastry cutter. It takes a little bit more time, but yeah, to me, you gotta flake your biscuit out of it. We don't wanna overwork the biscuit. If you overwork it, your biscuit gets chewy or tough or dry. Um, basically, we're gonna bring the dough together. We're gonna roll it out real quick. We're gonna cut it into fours, stack it back up, roll it out a little bit more, cut our biscuits, and be on our way. First things first, flour. Baking powder, we're gonna actually use baking powder and baking soda. And our butter. The key behind the butter is making sure that it is cold. This just had like the foreigner. It's cold as ice. Isn't that foreigner? It's foreigner, right? Willing to sacrifice. No, I don't know. I think it's foreigner. Maybe. That's what the comments are for. People in the comments will be like, you're fucking wrong. It was poison, 1985. It wasn't poison. So get it in there without the foil part. The butter in there. This is not sharp, this is dull. And you're just gonna push down and just no diggity it, because I was about to say, just work it. But we'll go with no diggity. This is easier when I did it earlier today. Get in that wrist action. If you like a stranger, you can switch hands. What we're looking for size-wise is about pea size pieces of butter. Um, if you have a few bigger pieces, it's okay. Um, what this will do, this will actually give you the flakiness that you're looking for in a biscuit. Here comes the important part. I'm actually gonna get this cutting board out of the way. We are going to add our buttermilk if you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk. It does work. Um, you can also use milk and vinegar to make yourself buttermilk. I also use honey. Honey to me gives it a softer texture, much like it does in pizza dough. You can use granulated sugar. It's equal parts to tablespoons to tablespoons. Um, but again, I prefer honey. And all we want to do is bring this dough together. We don't want to destroy it in the kneading process. Get in there, use your hands. It may appear to be dry, but as you see, it's actually starting to come together. At this point, we turn it out onto the table and then we just kind of begin to mold it. This isn't your wife, this isn't your girlfriend, this isn't your Sancha. You just want to bring it together. You don't want to smash it, you don't want to mash it, you don't want to knead it till it's blue. It is together, and it's okay if there's some little pieces. What we want to do is we just want to press it down. I'm not gonna roll it out. We want to 
stack it. This will also help give layers. From here, again, we're just gonna press it down. You can use a rolling pin, you don't have to use a rolling pin. A little bit of flour. And all we wanna do is just a little bit. We don't wanna destroy the dough. So out of this batch, I get about six. I'll wash my hands real quick. So biscuit cutter, you can, big ones, little ones, you can make something that big. You can make something that big. It really boils down to preference. There's nothing wrong with normal. There's nothing wrong with big, it's perspective. The biggest thing is you don't want to twist. You want to just push down because if you actually twist, <laughs> I can't. Um, if you actually twist, you're gonna, oh my Lord. If you twist, you're actually gonna seal the biscuit and you won't get any sort of rise out of it. So you just wanna push down. And in this case, we're only gonna get four, which is fine. I don't really care. Onto a parchment lined sheet tray, and we want them to actually touch each other. This will go into a preheated 425 oven. I have no idea what's going on back there. Um, a preheated 425 oven for about 20 minutes. We will hit them with a little bit of, so just a little bit of butter on top. Make sure they're touching each other. Go into a 425 degree oven. Now, while those are in there, if you don't have a bench scraper, I strongly suggest getting one. You cannot reuse, you cannot reuse biscuit dough to make biscuits. Now what you can do with these fucking things, cut them up, throw them in, a fr in oil, and toss them in cinnamon sugar, and they're fucking amazing. You're welcome. Dip them in a little dulce de leche or chocolate sauce, even better. But I don't have time for that. All I could think about was Deadpool and I'm gonna touch them all over. That's all I kept thinking. We are about to make the gravy. From the outside, that really doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Teresa. Um, we are going to cook this. We are going to use the fat because Teresa has a tremendous amount of fat. Um, to use the use as the roux for our gravy. We're gonna put, <laughs> we're gonna put this in here, and it should render relatively quickly. Um, it is a fine ground chorizo. This particular chorizo is very fine ground. This is a Mexican chorizo, which is a raw chorizo, Spanish chorizo, or this Spanish chorizo that I know of is a cured meat. Um, could you use it in this application? You could make a, a white gravy and add your cured chorizo into it, um, but you wouldn't get the amount of fat out of it as you would from a raw chorizo, like a Mexican chorizo. In case you haven't noticed over the course of my videos, I smell everything. I actually live through my nose. Um, it's wonderful, it's great. It's terrible at other times too, especially when it comes to people. Um, but for food, it's great. So who's your favorite? She likes a big cock. Pepe Le Pew. They tried to cancel Pepe Le Pew. Well, yes, they tried to cancel Speedy Gonzalez and like I'm one of those people that was not happy about that. Um, because growing up in the 80s, that was the only Hispanic representation you had on when it came to cartoons. I like Speedy Gonzalez, but Slowpoke, Slowpoke Rodriguez is getting awesome because that dude was high all the time. Sorry kids. Yeah, like we love Speedy Gonzalez. But we, like we talked about, yesterday we were talking about all the 80s cartoons from Master of the Universe to Voltron to Thundercats, G.I. Joe, um, hand, like Banana Splits. Like, yeah, 
like the Hanna Barbera, Mighty Mouse, Deputy Dog, like all these cartoons that you don't see anymore that we on Saturday mornings, like that's what you wanted to watch. Like He-Man, that stuff came later on in the 80s, but there was also weekday cartoons. Like they were on in the afternoons. Now like you can't watch Tom and Jerry anymore because it's like inappropriate or whatever. Yeah, I love Tom and Jerry. Okay, so biscuits are in the oven. Chorizo's on the stove. We're about to add flour to this, as you can see through the magic of overhead cameras, that there is a tremendous amount of fat. Chorizo has a lot of fat. Um, we're gonna add our flour to this. We're gonna cook off the roux a little bit. We're gonna add milk, salt, pepper, and that's it. Doesn't need anything else. All the flavor is in the chorizo. It's in the sausage when you guys are making these dishes. So, a little flour. Make sure you are cooking off your flour so that way you don't get that flour taste. So the flour's in. Look, it says boxed milk. We're going to add our milk. Oh. Notice it's all nice and thick. If you want a thinner gravy, add more milk. It's not rocket science. Perfect. So, we'll let that cook for a second. A little pepper, a little salt, because I do it backwards. Now that I said that like three episodes ago. A spoon, because you gotta taste food. Oh. That's like smack your mama. Twice. Got a nice little heat to it. I say, I say. Isn't that what he said? I say, I say. That's some fucking good chorizo gravy. I don't think Foghorn Leghorn actually said that. He's kind of cock. So, now that our gravy is finito, we might want to shut off the heat before we begin to move it. Because you know, if I was to burn myself on camera, we're leaving that shit in. I made some little biscuits, because I'm a little biscuit kind of guy. We could stack them. Make one big biscuit. Biscuits and gravy heaven right there. And people calling me out on it. Bing. All right. You got what? Enough what? What about my shirt? Just a little. Shall we eat? You're never gonna eat regular breakfast sausage and gravy again if you were to make this. I'm telling you that right now. I'm sorry to all the people in the South, your white gravy, I get it, I understand, I've had it, I love it, there's a place in my heart, but that's dead. This right here, this is life. So give it a try. If you like this video, I don't know, something about subscribing, hit the subscribe thing, ring some bell, have somebody kick in the ass to notify. I don't know, I, I mess it up every fucking time. Just do those things. I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah.